A great philosopher once said, the journey to a full head of hair begins with a single strand. And I think that philosopher was Pitbull. You don't get to be mayor of Miami just by singing and dancing, you know. Well, that's a big part of it. But let's start with that single strand. I'm going to go to File, New. I'm going to make a new document that's 1,000 by, let's say, 100. And now that we've got this, we will create our first strand of hair by clicking the ellipse tool. And I'll start somewhere in the bottom left corner and drag to the upper right corner. And now what I want to do is flip these colors so I have a black fill and I'm going to click on my stroke and set it to none. Okay, so now we've just got the black fill and I'm going to right click on the shape because it's still a uh, parametric shape until I right click and go to convert to curves. And now if I get my node tool, click one node up here and shift click this node over here. And I'm just going to drag them back but holding down shift to constrain that movement, something like that. And now these handles, I can click this first one, hold on shift and drag it back. Click this one, hold on shift, drag that back. And this is the basis for the entire effect. Now, if, if I want hair with highlights, I'll add the highlights now, but if not, you could skip this step. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this, control J, and now I've got my curve here, and this is where I'm gonna have my highlight. So to start off with, I'll just um, grab my node tool again and bring this up here, something like that. And it's exactly the same color, so let's give it a, uh, a medium kind of gray color should do it. And this is just so we could see it more clearly. And now I'm just gonna move all these parts in something like that, something like that. And then this one here, I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag this handle so that I could break it and just place it, something like that. And uh, it's, it's close to the edge, so one more thing I can do is just um, scale it in and actually I'm gonna leave it as it was on the left side and just scale it maybe down a little bit. All right, so this is almost there. Let's bring this in a bit. Okay, so now this will represent the highlight and if I wanna have a more vector look, I could leave it as a solid shape, but I want it to be a little bit smoother. So what I'm gonna do is click on my highlight, click on my gradient tool and drag from one end to the other. I've got snapping turned off, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, the thing is, I'm gonna add some transparency now by clicking on the gradient swatch. Both ends, I'll make white. So I'll click this one, make it white. And then I'll click this one, make it white, and drop the opacity for both of them. But first, I click once in the middle here to add a middle point. Now I could select this one, bring its opacity to zero, select the one on the left, drag its opacity down to zero also. And now we've faded out the root and the tip. And if we want a little bit more back of either one, we could bring that there. I could adjust this one here, something like that, or maybe you want more of a highlight towards the tip. It's up to you. Um, I'm even gonna select the middle one and just bring this down a slight bit and I've done everything that I could do in the uh, in the vector, what do you call it, designer persona. Now I'm gonna select the highlight and jump into the pixel persona. And let's just get that out of the way. Uh, so what I can do here is grab my blur tool. I got opacity to 100, flow to 100, hardness. Let's just bring this down to zero. And uh, when uh, this is a, vector layer, when we select and um, start to blur this out, you'll see the assistant is telling you that it converted it to a pixel layer. And, and that's exactly how I want. Now, let me undo that for a second. I wanna blur more over here and more towards the tip. I'm gonna leave a little bit of sharpness towards the middle, but uh, really this is stylized hair, so uh, you should experiment and um, 
see what looks good. So the uh, the last thing is, let me go to document setup and uh, go to colors and turn on transparent background. That's gonna help a lot to, um, well, for the next step, which is to export this. So you could go to file, export, and um, let's set this as a PNG and hit export. And um, let's find uh, the right folder. We'll call this one strand one or strand A. Let's call it strand one because it's just one single hair. That makes more sense. And uh, now we've got this PNG saved on a, a transparent background. So I'm gonna leave this open so that I could get to it later if I want and create a new document. This time I'll use a keyboard shortcut, Control N and uh, 1000 by, let's go with 200 this time. And uh, I'll also, I wish I could, maybe there's a way that you could keep transferring background on all the time, but uh, I just have to click here every time until I figure out a better way. But so we have this brush and we have our new layer ready to, well, it's not a brush yet, but it will be soon. And um, I'm back in my designer persona. And I will, and this is important because you have different brushes in your designer persona or vec, uh, kind of like a hybrid vector raster brush. And uh, in, in your pixel persona, you only have like a full raster brush. So let's create that brush now. Okay, we got this brushes window, pop it out here. And um, I've got a new category already, but uh, what I could do is click this button here, go to new, create new category, and uh, we could rename the category. So this is where all the hair brushes will reside. And let's make one. So we go to new textured image brush. We find that PNG that we made and select our brush tool, select the brush and you can see we've got a wiggly wobbly jiggly dribbly brush and uh, turn on stabilizer and now we've got a more stable brush and if i bring this up higher i'll get an even smoother look it's not a bad thing if your brush has a little bit of wiggle to it uh, if you want you could actually create a straight line and apply the brush to it so it's up to you, do you wanna build in some wiggle? Uh, I'll just go with the straight brush for now and uh, try and select it. Okay, so uh, this one, let's let's leave this brush kind of straight across the, uh, the brush stroke and then I'll alt drag so I get another one. And um, I, could, I can make it a little bit thinner. So if I go, uh, in the stroke width, you'll see you change the width. So I don't wanna make it too big of a difference, but I'll make it slightly thinner and uh, go back to my node tool. And this is basically just a straight line because there's no handle. So let's add a handle here, rotate this, place this like that. And then it, there's no handle here either. And um, you know what, that might actually be fine. So now this thing, if I hold on Alt and drag, if I could select it. Okay, so I just Alt drag to make a copy and I'm gonna scale it this way. And and the nice thing is we scaled it upside down, but the highlight is still in the right position. So that that's a nice touch there. Uh, this one, going to my node tool, I will bring this in a bit. I think maybe this handle needs to come in. And this is basically like the, the first clump of hair. And um, we've got a single strand, we got a clump, and um, I might add a third one. And I'll, I'll just um, make this into a brush now. So I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut for exporting Control Alt Shift S and just export this as, we could call this strand uh, we skipped two, we're jumping right to three and hit save. And then the last one, let's go to control N. We'll make it 
we'll just make this like a really thick uh, clump of hair. We'll go 400 and uh, document setup, um, color, and okay, here it is. All right, so I'll make a new brush from that last one we, we just created. New textured image brush, strand three, and click on my brush tool, click on that new brush, make sure stabilize is still on. And now I can see it's, it's kind of thin, so I'm gonna make the size bigger and I want it to be similar to the other ones. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, so that looks that looks about right. And so uh, I've got this brush. I'll, I'll leave the wiggly look in there and then I'll just add some, some of these strands and now this, this is pretty big here. So let's get this, all right, that looks like it's matching. And I'm using the left and right bracket keys to quickly uh, change the, the size uh, of the brush and sometimes it's good to go in and fix the um, the curves if it's not looking right but also sometimes you just want to press undo and try again unless you're, you get it really close and uh, you know what I might this one is kind of close so I'll bring this in bring this one in a bit here and maybe make an adjustment like that and um, so you, you probably get the picture here what's going on uh, making one slightly um, smaller stroke here and maybe I'll even a little bit smaller with the stroke this might be yeah this is getting too much you can see the thickness of this is so different from these other ones it's probably not gonna look right so I don't want to go too much smaller than this and I'll call that good maybe with just one little adjustment here so that's not overlapping so much and um, and I definitely could crop this but I'm just gonna do control alt shift s and I'll save this will this will be my um, I don't know strand seven or something like that however Many there are, it doesn't really matter. Let's call this one number four. Okay, so we've uh, basically created a, a handful of brush strokes. And uh, actually this one we haven't made yet into a brush, new textured image brush, strand four. All right, so now we have these three different ones. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is control N and um, create a new document. Now I wanna go into my stock um, section here. And uh, so sign a portrait. A nice thing about Pixabay is we have this option for vector. Now it looks for vector artwork, but I think when you, when you click and drag to bring it in, you'll see uh, if we look at layers, uh, well, it's an embedded document. Do we? Okay, so yeah, you do have all the, the vector layers, which is nice. And uh, what we can do is um, start to test our brushes out here. Well, not like that. So let's deselect everything. And uh, I'll create a Add a, add a layer here, let's put it on top. And now on this layer, let's find our brush tool, click on, starting out with the, um, the biggest uh, brush. And you can see now we're, we're painting in, you know, basically like, like a stylized hair and so I, I start out with, with a brush like this because it fills a lot of area. Um, but we don't have to settle for just um, black and white strokes. You can go to color. And uh, let, let's use an eyedropper tool. Let's get some brown color in. And then once you, once you click and drag your eyedropper over the color, you hit this button to apply it. And uh, now you can see we're getting uh, colored strands of hair, which is fun. 
And then all you have to do is select your different brushes for strands and make some slight variations and you'll have hair in no time.